Okay, so today I thought I would make a quick video about the alkalinity or acidity of zero water. And I made a previous video about this and someone commented that if you add baking soda to the acidic zero water, then it will reduce the acidity and make it more alkaline. And another comment that was mentioned, or maybe it was the same one, is, is lemon juice. And that comment said something like, lemon juice is acidic outside of the body, but then as soon as it becomes digested, it turns alkaline. But I really don't know how to test that one. So today I thought I would test if baking soda makes the water, the acidic zero water, more alkaline. So the zero water is zero parts per million of TDS, which is total dissolved solids. Okay, so then I bought these test strips. It's called pH Pro. Okay, so here you can see it's still zero, but I'll just put it in. Okay, so let's use these pH Pro strips. to see what the acidity is. So I brought a white plate to compare it up against. There it is there. And you can see it's, I'm gonna go between a six and a 6.5. So it's on the acidic side. Now I'm going to take a little scoop just try it. a tiny little pinch of a teaspoon in the same water. And we'll try a pH test again. So it's slightly darker, but actually it's turning quite a bit darker. So I would say that's between a seven. Let's see if I can zoom in here. So the first one I would still say is between a six, actually it's a six. And the second one with just a little bit of baking soda is closer to a, a 7.5. So I usually drink my water in a 500 milliliter mana or mana. So I'm gonna fill my mana bottle up. about 500 mils. Okay, so here's my water bottle. And just to show it's got zero parts per million. And so now I'll take a test strip. Oops. And dip it in. And I'm just gonna try one other thing, so I usually add concentrates to my water and somebody in another video that I made commented that concentrates may have lead in it, trace amounts of lead. So I did some research and my conclusion is that basically everything has lead in it. One, two, three. So I used to put five drops in, in 500 mils of water, but now I only put three drops in to reduce the possibility of lead. So I've, I've read that Lead is found in strawberries or potatoes or anything that grows in the ground kind of thing. So because they get this from the salt mines in Utah, then there is a possibility that there could be trace amounts of lead. Okay, so let's try the acidity of three drops of concentrates. So that's basically adding salt to the water 
And then as a final step, so now I have, you can see it's actually getting more acidic. And what I like to do for this one is just add some baking soda. So I'm just going to take a guess of a half teaspoon. Half teaspoon of baking soda or such. Launch that in there. And give her a shake. Oh, I can still see some. Apologies. Okay, so let's see what this does. A half teaspoon. You can see it's a lot darker. So here are the original two with the glass of water. And you can see just the water, the zero water is maybe a seven or 6.5. Whereas just with a pinch of, or a dash of baking soda, it's quite darker. So I would say an eight. And then my bottle of water that I usually bring, my portable bottle of water. This was again the original. Just water, so it should be the same. This was when I add concentrates. So it's, it's roughly the same. The concentrates doesn't do much. And then here is if I add a little bit of baking soda. So it's a big deal. I'm gonna try it. I've never tried it before, but somebody commented this morning on something and I decided to make this video. So I think I'll try using baking soda. Thanks a lot for watching.